The Secret Lab Titan Evo, Secret Lab's flagship gaming chair that stopped the industry and still remains the undisputed champ. Meet the Titan Evo Lite, Secret Lab's newest entry that comes in at a more affordable price. Let's put them head to head, see what's different and help you decide if you should save some money and go with the Lite or if the Titan Evo is still the king. Quick disclaimer, Secret Lab is not sponsoring this video. They have no idea I'm even making this, so you can expect an honest and unbiased opinion. Now that said, if you appreciate this content and would like to support the channel, consider not only hitting that subscribe button and notification bell, but using my links in the description, which help me earn a small commission so I can afford to make more content like this. So let's get into it. Let's talk about everything you don't get with the Evo Lite in order of importance. So the further we go into the video, the more important the feature will be. And at the end of the video, come to a conclusion on which chair you should buy. Now for this comparison, we're going to be focusing on a soft weave regular in size. The first notable thing you're not going to get here is the magnetic memory foam head pillow. This feature is reserved for the Titan Evo and the original 2020 Titan, so if you were hoping to have some head or neck support, you won't find it here. Now that said, I found after using a Titan Evo over the last two years, I don't even use my pillow and prefer to use the chair without it as I don't like something pushing my head forward. Now this is user preference, just know the Evo Lite is compatible and has the parts built in to use the magnetic memory foam pillow should you add one later. The second thing you should be aware of is that the Evo Lite is made with the original Softweave and Prime 2.0 leatherette materials used in the 2020 models instead of the upgraded Softweave Plus fabric and Neo Hybrid leatherette the Titan Evos are made of. Now, this may not be a big deal, I personally don't mind it, however, if you've got pets or a harsher environment and you know you're going to put this chair through some abuse, you may want to pay up for the premium materials if you've got any doubts about the long-term durability of your chair. The next thing you'll want to consider are the color options, and this could be a big one depending on your room's aesthetic, especially if you've got a white or pink setup going on. While the Titan Evo includes colors like Arctic White, Frost Blue, plush pink, mint green, and soda purple, the Evo Light only has black cubed, charcoal blue, and cookies and cream. Now, this could be a deal breaker, so be sure to really think about the possibilities here, especially if you're like me and change setups often. You're probably thinking, well, the Evo Light is compatible with skins if I ever want to change my color scheme, but the one thing you may not have considered is that these skins were built to fit around the Titan Evos, which have these twisty knobs on the side, which actually help the skins to stay in place, and since the Evo Light does not have these knobs, it means you'll be left with holes on the side of your chair, which allow the original color to be seen. Will the skins have a looser fit because of this? That remains to be seen, as unfortunately, my Titan Evo and the skins I own are small while the Evo Lite I just bought is regular. Something to keep in mind if you're as nitpicky as me. Another feature you'll be left without are the swappable armrest tops, and until you felt the comfort of having plush cell armrests under your elbows and forearms, you don't know what you're missing. And to be fair, the 4D armrests that are included are no slouch and are very comfortable on their own. I've never felt any kind of discomfort, they're kind of squishy in nature, and I felt much harder armrests on competing chairs. While the armrests are more of a nice add-on, one feature that could make the decision for you is the absence of the built-in four-way L-Adapt lumbar support the Titan Evo comes with. Now, this could be especially important if you've got back pains or issues, and being able to adjust the lumbar support up and down or in and out to tune the chair to your body could make the difference on whether you're able to sit and work or play for hours on end or barely tolerate the chair after an hour. Now, this is where these knobs I mentioned that hold the skins in place come into play, allowing you to twist and turn to taste. Really think about this one as the last thing you'd want is buyer's remorse. If you're on the shorter side, Secret Lab may have already made this decision for you as the new Evo Lite does not include a small size to fit those 5, 6, and under, under 200 pounds like the Titan Evo. After some testing, I think if you're 5, 4, and over, you should be good with the Evo Lite, but there's a whole market of gamers out there in the 5, 1 to 5, 2 range who've been left out, so if you're in this demographic, the choice should be easy. That brings us to our final and possibly most important point, 
price. Secret Lab is currently having a Valentine sale, so prices might be adjusted a bit from when you see it, but when it's not on sale, the regular Titan Evo price is $569, while the regular Evo Lite is $469, a $100 difference. Is it worth it? Just think, if you bought the Evo Life and then added the magnetic head pillow for $49, you're only $51 away from having all the features the full-fledged Titan Evo will get you. Even without the pillow, you have to ask yourself, if you're already spending almost half a grand, doesn't it make sense to just spend an extra $100 and get all the features the Titan Evo has, instead of compromising, saving that 100 bucks, then later wishing you just spent a little more to have it all? I get it, the economy is ridiculous and $100 goes a long way, but you're getting better build quality, a magnetic head pillow, swappable armrest covers, a built-in four-way lumbar support system, more colors to choose from, better skins compatibility, and the peace of mind knowing you won't regret settling later and wishing you would have bought the upgrade. Now sure, the Evo Lite was made to be a better budget buy, but at $439, I just feel the price is too close to the original and is still expensive, and that's why if you were to ask me, I'd say you should not buy the Titan Evo Lite and just stick with the Titan Evo that's been around. All that said, there is one case where I'd recommend the Evo Lite over the Titan Evo, and that's if you've already tried a secret lab chair and found it to be too hard. After spending some time with the Lite, I found it to be the softest chair Secret Lab has ever made. Now, even though my Titan Evo is a leatherette, so it's not a totally accurate comparison, I can squeeze my soft weave Evo Lite much more easily than any other Secret Lab chair I've ever tested. So if you want to have the Secret Lab name, but have found them to be too firm for comfort, the Evo Lite is the one I choose. Now, let me know how you feel about the Titan Evo and the Evo Lite, and after watching this video, which one you're going to buy. Now, since I already bought an Evo Lite and the cookies and cream matches my setup perfectly, I'm going to keep it for the long haul and make it my main chair so that in a year from now I can do a follow-up review to let you know how it's held up. If you found this video helpful, consider using my links to support the channel, but that's going to wrap things up for today. I'll see you next time.